We're back to dusk. <sighs> Still kind of bugs me just how, like, the... Whenever you load up, like, uh, a game that you have tied to, like, a game capture source in OBS, that, like, it just doesn't always... Like, you can, like, you can hear the audio piped in, but you just don't uh, see it actually display the game itself until after, like, a couple seconds. I could probably get around it by just having, a, like, a desktop capture, but I do not feel like showing off my desktop. Especially with having to, like, crop it out like this in, uh, in 4x3. Alright. We did Foothills last time. We're now doing the facilities. Ceramietto as always. And we should be able to knock this out just like last time. Like, just go through the uh, game again. Uh, through, like, the whole episode in a single stream. No more than two hours. There we go. First. first. Rats. There we go. Wait, hold on. I didn't miss like a like a pistol lying around or something, did I? I wouldn't think so. Oh yeah, because it's out here. Oh jeez, okay. Quite a bit of damage. No big deal. We'll make... Ah, shit. I need something better to get over it. Fuck. What do we do? There. Ah, damn it. Get. Okay. Alright, that's another secret down. Good to be back in it. Ah. Still getting shot all over the damn place, but I'm surviving. Take it the blue door, because we got like a better idea for our, for an entrance with a secret. Go. Rory. Oh, good timing. Thanks for the redeem there, dude. <laughs> All right. Ah, fucking missed that riveter shot. I think 
He... I think that was, uh... I think that was a welder that blew himself up. How about that? That's funny. Okay. How about that? <laughs> yeah. Alright, so... Just keep running, keep shooting, try not to get hit too much. Because <laughs> everyone moves and attacks so damn fast on this difficulty. Okay. Alright, I think that's cleared out. Oh. There's one over here. And look at that. We we made it all the way back around to, to this door that we could have taken. But we took the cooler secret way in. And hopefully, like, my... Uh... <laughs> Old men are the future. Yes. Yeah, I'm an old man. It's my time, damn it. But yeah, ho I'm hoping, like, with uh, how the episode one stream went, that I sh should be able to, like, remember where all the secrets are and still be able to get them uh, just from memory and not relying on a on a guide or anything like that. By the way, how's your night going? Get angry. You hate my guts, don't you? Get mad. Get mad. Get mad. Get mad. Get so mad. It drives you mad. Haven't said anything yet to like Make it worth it for me to get angry, but I mean, I'm sure it'll come at some point. Go. Ooh. Okay, this game is getting hectic. Oh my god. Okay, you can just stop missing. Thank you. Huh. Okay, that felt good. That, la uh, that last kill being a, a mid-air one. That was pretty tight. Okay. Now then. Your turn. Desperate, 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 desperate. The sound they'll make rattling their cage will serve as a warning to the electronic old men. Yes, it will. Okay. Okay, good. I got inside. off okay now I'm mad and I don't think I quick saved at all god damn it I didn't did I yep of course I didn't god fuck <laughs> okay that 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 makes sense all right I should actually start making use of this proper like uh, like saves every time at the start of a level. Make 
extreme prejudice against the fucking rat. Make that three. up so much ammo in the process. Damn. This might be a bit sloppier than... Ah. No, no, I, I still need the bigger box. God damn it. Okay. Here we go. Found it. Oh, wait. There we go. We got the shotgun at the same time. Now, can we? This looks like a Doom Med Minecraft. <laughs> I mean, like this. Uh, this is more Quake style, if we're if we're being honest in terms of graphical style. This is absolutely meant to be like a. Uh, like a first-person shooter that would have come out circa like 1997 or something like that. Ah! Shot his own buddy. Dumbass. Ah. And again! Perfect. Okay, I think that's everything picked up. All right, we need to get back into the fight. Maximum bunny hopping to make up for lost time. Jesus, I'm so low on health again. Oh, God. Reloads like Terminator 2 Judgment Day. Yep. Yep. Uh, this along with, like, yeah, like, the, the gun twirl on the shotgun. Like, uh, from the developer's mouth, it was very much inspired by how Arnie, like, reloads the shotgun in Terminator 2. 100% influenced. Though I need to get all my health back. All right, it's a start. Huh. Fucking hats! Damn you! CG movie coming out looks sick. Oh, you type it looks uh. Yeah, what's the subtitle on that, on that again? Death Island. Yeah, yeah, I think that's what it is. Cause I every time I hear it, my mind always like confuses hearing it with like Dead Island. Yeah. Stop. I mean, they're bringing Jill back, and she no longer looks like she did in RE5. So that's a plus. Okay. Let's clear it out again. And head back underground. I'm surprised that I... I feel like I... I forget if there was, like, another shotgun that I could have picked up around here so that I could, like, dual-wield them. 
It's great first time we'll see Leon and Jill on screen. Oh god, that's right. Yeah, that really will be just straight up like a first for that. Like not even in a game. Like uh, for like story reasons or anything. It's just, yeah. Like, like, certain Resident Evil characters always get paired with others for very specific reasons. <laughs> oh, wait, no. I think more... I, I think it's actually... The second shotgun might be in here? And Rebecca's in it. Okay. There's, they're still actually having her around for... Oh, my God. Get down. Thank you. Okay. There wasn't a weapon up here. It's a shame. Yeah. Th it's funny. For whatever reason, I would have thought they would have... They'd have stopped using Rebecca for anything after that... Uh, after that last uh, CG movie that she was in. So, yeah. They're, they're still getting... They're still getting use out of those characters. The coffee cups in the trailer. Uh, okay. Okay. Doing a lot better this time. Yeah, what you got? Assholes. Drink from Vendetta, Caramel Macchiato, Shock Ships, Extra Whip Cream. Oh my god. <laughs> they, they they straight up have it all the way down to the... Oh my god, fucking Fire Geyser. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. I should not have walked that far forward. God damn it. Fuck, okay. I probably used up all the health pickups that were around here. God damn. Oh well. And this is why I am playing through this game like with all my weapons carrying over as opposed to doing it on intruder mode. I am not gonna try and deal with the beginning of every single one of these levels holding nothing but the sickles. <laughs> Alright. Death from above, motherfuckers. Oh my god. Actually, no, screw that. I'm... There we go. Good. Oh, that's right, there was one more secret I missed. Like, on this rooftop, I have... Like, I basically have to... Grab this. And then... Looks like swimming liquors, too. I'm guessing maybe tea at this five or some revelations. Okay. Abyss. 
It's like in, in mentioning those words in that instance just made me remember that Revelations 1 happened. Not even in relation to it being, like, horrible, but just, like, it was always just, like, one of, if not the most forgettable Resident Evil games for me. And I still hear... Still hear battle music, so I forget just that there's... Oh. Oh, there they are. Grand Wizards. There we go. I might still be missing a couple enemies when I exit this, but honestly, I don't care. What matters is I got all the secrets. And I'm almost back to full health anyway, so you know, I... That could have been worse, ending that. Man, 20 minutes to just to get through this first level, getting readjusted to how Dusk operates. Okay. That's one secret. That's two. With a hallowed health, don't mind if I do. There we go. <laughs> Fuck you. Charming. There it is. Now we got double shotguns. Oh yeah, also important to mention, as always, with how Dusk works. Twirling your guns counts as producing a hitbox. Like so. Game's got a lot of wonderful, dumb features about it. Alright. prepared because our first enemy's coming up there it was probably actually used a bit more ammo than I should have because I forgot it wasn't there it is Yeah, I guess I should add maybe mild jump scare warning for people that bothers you. I don't know. I don't find the Wendigos when, when you reveal them to be like that startling. Like the music sting isn't that overpowering that I would find it to be like a problem, you know? So now we've had our first taste of New enemy, now actual combat starting again. Stop. 
There we go. Okay, things are going fairly smooth, I'd say. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, there's the... This is a big fight coming up. There we go. Huh. Ah. Yeah, there's always a. No matter what game you play, you're always bound to have like some manner of like of like adjustment period. It's like it's only been a few days since like I touched dust in any capacity. You know, it's just like my last stream. But that's obviously because I've still been spending plenty of time with, like, other games along the way. Rapid fire pistols, boyos! And I'm probably about to die as well. Ah, oh, fuck, I did. Damn it. Okay, and I gotta do this shit again. There we go! Huh. 47 out of 48, I guess I'm... Oh wait, no, I can hear... I can hear one of them breathing. Yep, just a random soldier. Okay, two episodes down. I mean, not episodes, two missions. Eight more plus a secret mission. Make another save. And here is where we're going to get not just more pistol ammo. Our first super shotgun. We're in business now. Okay. Taken care of. Ah, oh, fucking goddammit. Physics, curse you. Uh, 
Ah, you son of a bitch. There we go. Okay. And this is another big arena waiting for us outside. Actually, no, that could be better. All right. Now into the fray proper. Oh, Jesus! God damn it. Ugh. So much health lost over something so stupid. Oh my god, don't get... Don't get caught on geometry, you dumbass. Oh wait, that's right, all this time I just realized I had a super shotgun, I could have been using it. Ugh. Oh well. You live with your mistakes. Well, now we can start taking care of like some of the goodies hidden around here. Oh shit! Bentar coming with a raid. Hey, dude! It's a bull rush. Oh no! Oh no! This is not Mecca. You're right. It's not. That's happening this Saturday. <laughs> Instead, we're playing Dusk in Boomer Vision. Yes, it is very quake. It looks the part, even though it was made, like, within the last decade. Yeah, okay. All right, good. Let me just double check to make sure I had secrets in order. There we go. Anyway, how are you doing tonight, uh, uh, Ben? Hey, I dig it. It's been, it's going pretty well for you. Got my best to uh, focus, unsurprisingly, because this is on the like I'm trying to focus on this uh, game 
playing through, like, on the hardest non-gimmick difficulty, I'm gonna say. is about to chomp down on some spaghetti. Oh, Jesus! Fuck! <laughs> Fucking hit the Wendigos! <laughs> about to chomp down on some spaghetti. Okay. Well, I'll assume it was all good. Wobble dogs. First I've heard of that. Wait, we are running. Sims meets dog. Okay, well... <laughs> I'm old enough to remember it. <laughs> well, there you go. It's all good. I mean, like, this is, this is the... This is the stream for old people, after all. We're playing a first-person shooter designed to look like it came, like, out on the Quake engine. <laughs> And I'm technically doing, like, extra fuckery with, like, the graphics to make it look even more authentic. Because <laughs> it's not just the the 4x3 resolution you're seeing. It's also, like, like the pixelation on display. Like, I have the internal resolution bumped down to something kind of close to resembling, like, 480p or lower. Shit, damn it. Okay. <sighs> Let's try linear filtering in anti alias. I know, right? Hell, even back then, try linear, I don't think would have been like quite a thing yet. If anything, it was bilinear filtering. Speaking of, actually, um,. This game has, like, some funny extra, like, uh, options for visuals. They added Bloom for... They added it in as a joke, and it looks terrible. Well, it, do it doesn't look nearly as bad as it does there, but... But, it, like, you can turn on the bilinear filtering if you want. It doesn't look nearly as pixelated, but honestly, that's not quite as fun. <laughs> the 2000s are back, baby! Not yet. Not yet. We need to add in, like, bump mapping in normal maps, and then we're there proper. <laughs> but no, if you, if you just want to, like, get a, a feel for how bad of an idea Bloom is... Yeah. Like, every time the topic of Bloom comes up, I think everyone in New Blood keeps talking about how they should really seriously remove that from a patch or something. But they never get around to it, so it's co it's continued to stay in there as like a perpetual bad idea for players who are curious. Okay. Oh Jesus! Fucking Wendy goes. Come on, can I? Oh, midair mortar grenade. Nice. Come on, come on. You can do this all day, buddy. Ha <laughs> ha. It's only an additional screen shake. Just don't turn it on. Exactly. <laughs> but you know, like some, uh, like some people out there are too curious for their own good. They don't know any better. They think turning on all the options, regardless of how like non-performant or bad looking they are because they think more stuff turned on means more pretty. Because people are idiots. Okay. 
Well. Anyway, last secret for the level. But yeah, all things considered with like, even with the goofy options and stuff that it has. This is such a fun fucking video game. Sacrifice. Down the blood chute we go. And... The fall broke your flashlight. Good job, idiot. So now you really <laughs> plot drop, yeah. So now you absolutely have to make do with like the uh, with like the low lighting and atmosphere. The wall graffiti that says "Save Us" on there is there for a reason, actually, because it's basically the game's way of telling you, "Dude, do a quick save because this trap could." Probably kill you instantly. It's real. It's real easy to fuck up. You gotta love instant death traversal shenanigans. Makes it a lot like a classic shooter in a way. All right. Got the key. All right. Look at that, we got a working flashlight again. The game is not too cruel to leave us without one. another secret that we got to deal with that is also like a crusher death trap this right here all right Let's save okay good getting out was like a lot faster I felt than trying to get in. It's all good. Red key. Yep. Everyone throwing themselves into the meat grinder. This is a horrible cult. Uh, a, a horrible cult after all. Good job, you idiots. Yeah, great plan, but idiots. You sacrificed yourself to the Arlothotep. Good thinking. Okay. Oh, oh shit. Ah, oh, fuck. recharge on this this wall climb power up is like a cool concept but like I'm not surprised that like that even, even by the developers they note that this thing is just so 
finicky as hell. Because you're expected to, like, hold, like, the shift button, which you use to crouch. I mean, not crouch, to walk. I'll save that for later, because I know that's where the secret exit is. Okay. Honestly, as far as, like, a health deficit, this isn't too bad. 168. I'm glad this is a game where overcharging your health doesn't result in it, like, to tick down afterwards if you exceed 100. Look at that! We now stepped into the Event Horizon Meat Grinder Hallway. Radioactive explosive barrels. Yeah. I mean, everything could potentially be an explosive object with enough force. That, that was definitely the, the cleanest that could have gone. I'm glad. Ah, still another. Another Grand Wizard. Yes, that's what it's called. I mean, the hoods already make them look like clan members. You were thinking it as well. That's right, this is where like the next secret is that I gotta collect. Right in here. Lost dog. There we go. Ah. The goats have gone mad. Yeah, that's a polite way of putting it. placed gas canister that that I just happened to knock there accidentally and became a golden opportunity. Oh, fuck. Almost boxed me in. Yeah, Wendigos are no joke. There. Now we can proceed. Back on the main path. Goat Simulator reference? Eh. I don't know. I feel like that might be just a tad bit of a stretch. I don't know. Because even then, it's like... Well, I don't know. Is is there like is anything referred to in Goat Simulator by the name Black Phillips? Because that's what the name of those enemies are.
Yep, knew they were coming. Knew it. A fucking triple threat of Wendigos. We're not going through there yet, however. Because we got another major secret right through here. This game loves its secrets. It is a classic style shooter after all. That was quick. Oh well. No big deal. I think there's a, still a way to... Isn't there a... Oh no, there's just some gems up here for morale, but also... Yeah, over there's the Hallowed Health. We definitely want to have that on hand. And there we go. Final secret, as well as the entrance to the secret level. Okay. Total 37 minutes and 22 seconds. That's obviously not counting the time as I died and had to, like, reload a save or anything like that. Okay. This song is so good. I think it's the considering that I use it in like the pre-stream for like the uh, for like when I'm going live with Dusk. I feel like this is uh, definitely like my favorite song on the entire OST. some jump pad fun. Oh, fuck. Don't hit the... Oh, my God. You asshole. No, I'm, I'm doing that again. There we go. Did it so much smoother that time I had to do a front flip. This game is that awesome. What other first-person shooter can you think of that lets you just, like, do front flips in midair and just completely break the limits of, like, where you're, where you're able to turn on the Y-axis? This is just like a fun level as far as like being like a, like a gauntlet. Like they like they find ways to like just take advantage of like the verticality and like the climbing tool to give you something of an interesting obstacle course that works. I think in the context of a secret mission, you know. Oh my god, why does it keep missing the jump pad? What the shit? Ah. 
This much verticality in a shooter gives me Dark Forces 1 flashbacks. <laughs> uh, give, give me a flashback to, like, whatever the hell the name of, like, that city was in Star Wars. Like that, oh. like that hive city that is just vertically stacked. I think I remember it more from, like, Dark Forces 2 and just how it kind of comprised the game's oh. whole first level. Finally, loop back around. Cloud City, baby? Whichever levels had all the really high cliff walls. No, it wasn't Cloud City. Oh, fuck. And, like, I wish I could remember more clearly off the top of my head, but it's hard to tell that, like, if names in my head are actual Star Wars names or I'm making them up because they always sound that dumb. Like, fucking Nar Shada or something. Like, it was a much darker, kind of, like, vertical type of uh, city. You know, not something like, uh, not like Cloud City or whatever, because like that has a very specific color power. To it. Lucas literally let his kids name some of them. Count Dooku comes to mind. He's no Kit Fist, though, of course. That's true. I always forget that particular detail that, like, some of, like, the names in Star Wars, like, come from stuff that his kids came up with. Good, made it in time. With that secret out of the way, we can head back over here. And now we can get the final two secrets. All of which require us to go here. No one can rival Lucas for his brilliant alien culture naming. For example, he's the discoverer of the music genre jizz. Yep. Jizz is what it's called. That is definitely a thing. missing one enemy, but who cares? There we go. Alright, now for... Now for one of the coolest goddamn levels ever conceived in this game, and kind of the turning point in Dusk as a whole. Welcome to the Escher Labs.
appears to be a cult leader. I believe it. Okay. Yeah. Enough fucking around. Time to actually clean house with my double barrel. And still find secrets. Yeah, that makes sense. What? What the fuck? Hold on. Oh, that was bullshit. Just how much health I lost in that one moment. Okay, that's at least somewhat better. All right, and there's a fast fire totem. but not too bad. Oh. Oh, but here's something cool coming up. Go on. So another Take crazy thing that this game added power. just because. And cribbing from another game. We are now super hot. Super hot. Super hot. Come on. Switch weapons, please. Thank you. Oh my god, even after... <laughs> There we go. Yeah. Yeah, that is literally super hot. The power-up is technically called the Serum of Blistering Heat. Which, I mean, that's as on the nose as you could get. <laughs>
Don't you hate it when you just get, like, stuck on geometry at the worst times? Jesus, they came running. Something isn't right. They did have you kind of concerned even before the geometry problems. Yeah, yeah, the freaking melee attack from like those scientists hurts like a fuck ton. Doesn't help that my morale is also like literally at zero. I don't have any sort of like armor protection. So I gotta be mad careful going forward. Especially since there's a mini-boss at the end of all this. Good. Took care of them on the ground floor. <laughs> nope. No, there was still one more. Fuck you. Back to full health. And a bit of morale returned at the same time. Could be worse. There we go. Uh, now then. Yo, key door. Alright. Now here's something, something that might be a bit familiar. And then to top it off. Thanks, Constantine. Little thief oh. reference. It's cute. The Romero Jib Labs. That's literally what it said. And have to go there for, like, cleanup. <laughs> Alright. Riveter ready. Yeah, this is a fucking nightmare scape. We need to get out of here. And then just like the sudden silence as you get back inside. It is so good. Save yourself. All right. Game's trying to kill you with sound effects. It sure is. God damn it. Yeah. I don't want all of these barrels to fall into the abyss. I want to get them set up for something specific. Yeah, something... Something is not having a good time in there. I promise I will make it feel all better, miss. Whoever you are. For real though, like you just go through like this environment and you see just how like there was a sudden burst of creativity on the part of David Szymanski 
that started to like turn what this game was into something that's genuinely unique. Like even as a as a throwback to old style of first person shooters. Tank opens. What have you done? Oh fuck. I should have Oh fuck! Ah shit! <laughs> I forgot. They unfortunately, unlike some later levels in this game, they did not think to have you teleport back up to these top platforms if you ever fell off into the void. So tough shit. This is ah oh fuck! God, stop jumping off! I'm lose I'm losing track of all my key bindings. It's embarrassing. Oh fuck! God damn it! Ugh. All right. Gotta watch out for the AOEs. Yeah, for the blast damage, as well as just falling. Okay. M more damage taken than I would have liked, but nah, who cares? And fuck you too. Huh, <sighs> much better. There we go. Ugh. Yeah, and this and this just has objects floating in zero G. Nothing unusual. Okay. Let's just get through here. We're now halfway done with this episode. And I'm starting to have my doubts if I'll even be able to like finish it in under two hours, but we'll see. Because right now we got a big one. We're at the Erebus Reactor. Named so after Mount Erebus from the original Doom. Also, I actually should be making more use of, like, saving to that. Oh, who cares? Yeah, this is, uh, this is definitely, uh, a nightmare. <laughs> Ha! Freaking 
like geometry of those canisters was actively impeding their projectiles. That's fucking hilarious. I'll take it. Okay, now I got a bunch of crossbow bolts to work with. Please get up. Oh no, ne fuck that. There, there wasn't even anything up there. God damn it, that's right. It's only specific ones. Yeah, screw it. Let's go looking for other secrets first. Others that are more manageable. over there I forgot right I gotta take this jump pad get up to this level there and we got more crossbow bolts to work with too Oh yeah, it's that, it's that uh, little ledge right there. I think that's the one I gotta run across. No, no, oh, fuck. There, at least we can get this out of the way. Pick up everything that we can inside the lava. Or maybe not, I need to get to the teleporter ASAP! Where the fuck is it? Fantastic. Yeah, this episode is a bit harder than the previous one. Not exactly surprising. No, oh, fuck you.
fucking again. Stop slipping off the edge, you dumb shit. There it is. Ten times the charm. Yeah, it is. Well, that was a... That was a stutter. Back on track. We'll get the blue key, uh, key, clear out more of the enemies, and then we'll try secret hunting for a couple more of the stuff on top of the spires. Yep, rapid fire rivets. When you have zero more fucks to give. <laughs> no! Oh god, oh shit. Oh my god. I always lose track specifically of where the teleporter out of here is. Oh, there it is. And there was a hallowed health that I missed at the same time. So you get a gun that shoots fucks anyway. That's true. Yeah. Just big all caps fuck like words made physical manifest. Alright, focus. Focus, damn it. Yeah, this is a bit of a draining level to try and get through, making sure you survive at the same time. He keeps following me directly above instead of hanging out around like the op uh, like the opposite side where I can actually shoot him. All right.
Okay. Oh man. There's there, there's just not a whole lot really about to say when you're so absorbed in the middle of like these fucking combat encounters. <laughs> Why did I go directly into that bullet? The fuck is wrong with me? Okay. Yeah. Hold on, did something freeze? Oh god damn it. Oh for fuck's sake. Ah, what the hell, man? Now things are starting to, like, fuck up or something. Wait, now... Oh my god, now the... Hold on. Technical difficulties! This fucking bullshit right here. What the hell? Is it OBS being weird or some sort of Dusk emulator delay? No, it... It's OBS and my computer. S something's... Yeah, I don't know. For, uh, it, it was weird. For whatever reason, my... Like, my... Uh, like, VTuber software camera stuff just froze. And as soon as I, like force those to like uh, to close in the task manager and now everything is breaking apart actually you know what fuck it I'm I'm just ending things right here I think unless hold on well no like I couldn't yeah, it's it's not actually for once it's not happening on like the network. I'm gonna quickly try something. Well, no, I think it's just ah. Even turning off the stream aspect and just leaving the recording didn't seem to stop it. Yeah, you know what? Actually, fuck it. I am just going to end the stream right here. We'll finish episode two like another time. Ugh. It's just one weird fucking problem after another. Download more RAM. Degauss your screen. I'll degauss it after I I just call it quits. Well, we'll take on the Erebus reactor next time when I'm actually able to better focus. Unless... Hold on. Okay, okay, the, the frames are still dropping despite, uh, like, just turning off the game. Like, trying to free up that process, so... Yeah, we're we're just ending things right now until and we'll tackle this another time. But thanks for stopping by, though. You did blow up some dudes really good, at least that that I did. Yes, and died multiple times fighting a horrible monster in like a in like a dark abyss. Oh well, you win some, you lose some. Take care.